In this video, I'll demonstrate how to calculate and program a ramp entry into a pocket. To program the ramp, I'll first need to decide how close I will allow the tool to come to the edge of the pocket. I'll keep the edge of my tool 2.5 millimeters away from the pocket wall. Then I need to decide if I want the tool to feed down into the part along the x-axis, or the y-axis, or diagonally. I'll feed the tool down along the x-axis as shown here. Next I need to calculate the starting x and y location. For the 12 millimeter end mill, the y location will be the easiest to determine, so I'll do it first. The starting y location for the tool center will be negative 13.5. To calculate this value, I'll start by placing the cutter center at the y0. Then it will need to move negative 5 millimeters to be centered over the pocket edge. Then another negative 6 millimeters to place the cutter edge at the pocket wall. And finally another negative 2.5 millimeters for the desired gap. To calculate the cutter center at the start of the ramp for the x coordinate, I'll need to use the Pythagorean theorem. I want the edge of the cutter to be 2.5 millimeters from the 5 millimeter part radius. Since the center of this radius is at x5 and y minus 19, I know the delta y side of my triangle is 5.5 millimeters because the center of the cutter is at y minus 13.5 and the hypotenuse is 13.5 millimeters. This means the delta x side of my triangle is 12.3 millimeters and the cutter center at the start of the ramp will be 17.33 millimeters. Since the pocket is symmetrical about the center, the x coordinate at the end of the ramp will be 32.67 and the y will be unchanged. This means the length of the ramp will be 15.34 millimeters. If I want the tool to ramp in at 5 degrees, the depth at the end would be 1.34 millimeters. When the tool is done ramping in, I would like it to be a depth of 4.5 millimeters. And since 1.34 does not divide equally into this, I'll program three cuts of 1.5 millimeters deep each, which will create a ramp angle of 5.6 degrees. Now that I know all of the ramp coordinates, I can create the code to ramp into the pocket as shown in this simulation. In the next video, I'll demonstrate how to finish the roughing of this pocket with this 12 millimeter end mill.